Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Anna. How you guys doing? Thank you so much for coming by. Everything I'm sharing with you today is $1.25 each. Nothing over $1.25. So as you can tell by the pick, da -da -da -da, I found some of those really pretty flowers. This is the only one my store had as of right now that was out. This is a beautiful, it could be a wall decor or it could just sit on your mantle or you can put it just flat on your table. It just depends. This is called wall art. It is a 10 by 10 and this is plastic. Um, and it is by special moments. Okay. And this was really pretty. I, th I thought it was really pretty. It has this great, um, nude color, very, very neutral, which is great for any home. Or if you're trying to, you know, give a gift to someone, this a little bit on neutral side, this would be a nice one to have. And it has touches of gold throughout. This piece would also be great to go outside and spray paint it the color that you do like and really coordinate it with your home. Now, this is a plastic piece, as you can tell. And um, technically speaking, I mean, besides using this little piece right here, you could technically just, you know, get a little hook or whatever and grab it from there as well. It's up to you. But it's a really interesting a 3D. It does come out some, as you can tell. But it's really, really pretty. And I thought to myself, too, this would probably be very interesting if you put some of that mirrored type of paper behind it and just, you know, cut it out and glue it in the back. And then you have like a little mirror effect to it in the back, too. You could do a couple of things with this, I think. Um, and I think it's a really nice piece, possibly for like a bathroom, a hallway. Um, if you get a couple of them, maybe for a living room on a budget, you're trying to make things happen, but you know, things are really tight. You can still do it with Dollar Tree. And I mean, and these are nice, big, substantial pieces. They're not just going to fade into the background. So for $1.25, yes, I did see a couple of other people share different colors, but my store only had this nude beige color available as of right now. I thought that they were well worth getting them. Um, I actually thought these, those might actually look good in my hallway. Okay. I have a project to do. <laughs> it is spring break, baby. And, um, before I show you what I have to do, I'll show you my penalin. I use this on my house to clean and there you go. So I got some penalin. Let me put this here. I have so much stuff here on my table. It's crazy, but I do have a project. Um, I have to recock our bathroom and our second bathroom up here on the top floor. I already recocked the master. I need to recock the, the kids bathroom. So this is what I used before and it works out great. This is the all purpose caulk by tool bench. I'm um, used on tubs, sinks, windows, trim and more odorless, paintable interior or exterior. And this does come in the color of white. And that's exactly what I need it. Um, like I said, I've used this before. I know what I'm doing and I got this tool just to help me get the, you know, the old cock out, but this is a paint stripper tool. Um, we do have to strip all of our, um, I'm sorry. I shook you. I'm sorry. We do have to, it's like, there we go. <laughs> we do have to strip, um, all of our railings cause they were painted white by the previous owner. And you know, it's the paints coming all off. They just didn't take the appropriate steps to do it and they didn't use the right paint. So it's just looking like a hot mess. All of it's peeling off and we just need to do it. So I went on ahead and bought this tool so I can start the process here on my own. So there we go. That is my project that I have to do probably today. Okay. Then I did buy some more of the aluminum foil. I needed some more. Yeah. Cause, uh, we've been cooking honey we've been cooking so i need that for the oven then um let's do it let's go into the foodie aisle because i was i went in there hungry which is not something that i recommend to anybody going <laughs> in there hungry don't do it girl don't do it all right i bought four of the um hereford uh spicy Beef crumbles, these are good, you guys. These are good. Hereford is a name brand. Um, it is manufactured and distributed out of Brazil. 
Um, a lot of people buy this. You could normally get this in a store as well, but it's a lot more than $1.25 to get six ounces worth of meat. Um, there's no juice in there. There's no water. It's actual meat for $1.25. It's great. The best by date is... 8 of 2024. And what have I used this for? Um, I made my scrambled eggs and used this. And it was good. It was good. Scrambled eggs with the uh, meat. So I got a couple of those. Then I picked up two bags of the Samaya plantain chips because the other ones were gone, honey. Yeah, this is a really nice one to get. And it is a 2.65 ounce. And the kids are home all day. So, you know, these kind of like little things just disappear. Make a sandwich, you add some chips to it, and boom, the whole bag is gone. And potato chips are not cheap right now. They are not. So I don't mind getting them from Dollar Tree. Um, this one is onion and garlic. We never tried the Utz onion and garlic before. Um, as you can tell, this normally goes for $2.49. It was $1.25. And it is a 2.75 ounce. Um, that's a really good buy, and we love Utz. So I got two of these. Then um, I picked up some of the Home Style Select Kettle Cooked Old Fashioned. I wanted to give these a go. I've seen them so many times. And um, I saw Robin from uh, Robin's Designs. She just did a video. I didn't leave a comment, but Robin, I'm watching you, girl. Uh, she shared a couple of these. She really likes these. So I was like, you know what? Robin likes them. Let me see if they're any good. So I picked that up. Then the last thing I picked up, I wanted something with ripples. I needed something with ripples. I'm kind of funny because when I eat my sandwich, I make myself like, you know, just a sandwich. I like to have rippled chips with it. I know it's a thing, but I got the Wise Ridges original and let me see, uh, 3.75 ounce. Yeah, that wasn't bad for $1.25. And we do like the Wise brand. So those were the chips and the meat that I bought that I like to do my eggs with. Those would be great to do eggs with cheese and um, put them inside a fajita, you know. Now they do have the Morton Season All. That's new. Um, they have that available right now. And I don't know, what's the best way to do for this thing? Ooh, September 13th of 2026. Uh, so that's a nice one and a half. So they have that available right now. If that's a go-to item for you, you can get it for $1.25 right now. They got it. Then I saw these bunnies. They have these chocolatey covered marshmallow bunnies. And they contain five. And I like the fact that they had five. So, you know, <laughs> one for you, one for you, one for you. So I picked up two. And uh, this is by a company I've never heard of before. It's called Musita. It's imported. Let me see. I'm trying to figure out where it's from. Is it Lima? No. Peru? Made in Peru. Okay, so this is made in Peru, imported and distributed by USA Cordials USA. Okay, so it's originally a Peruvian type of um, item. So that's a cool one to try. So I'm from made from Peru without having to get a specialty food box to try it right from the Dollar Tree. I like that. And then let's just stick to, since I was talking about Easter, let's just stick to the few things I got from there. So I, when I saw these, I just, ugh, how cute. They have these little ornaments that look like little chicks. And I thought to myself, oh my goodness, this would be so cute on my notebooks. You guys know that I like to decorate my notebooks. I like things hanging off of them, charms and all this kind of stuff hanging off of them. It just brings me so much joy. It really and truly does. So when I saw these little chickies, how cute are they? I picked those up. But wait, there's more. <laughs> they also had them in a Nomi style. Look at that. They had them in a Nomi style. Isn't that cute? Yeah, girl, between the chickies and the nomies, all right? So you could put those, you could even send these as friend mail, what have you. Um, if you like to send things out and tuck them in, you could do that. Or put them on your notebooks like I do. And in this one, it looks like little eggs. These are all precious. Here, let me, 
move the duckies over here and then you got the eggs so these are a little bit more on the subdued side and then these are nice and bright and then you got your little stripey and your little plaid looking eggs and they're so cute so they have these available right now if you need something like this be on the lookout because i was like i didn't see these before and there was only a handful of them left only a handful okay and then this is the last thing right from easter so this is the fabric gift sacks right and i bought these because i like them so much i know i love this kind of stuff and they're like real little sacks you know they're just cute they're just cute now i am planning on let me show you what it looks like when you take them out so the little face is right there then it's cut out like a little bunny ear then you have your twine where you're supposed to you know do it like that so they all have the same look but they're all adorable and he has like a little like a little hair right there in the front that is so cute so these are different compared to the other ones that they had see what i'm saying it has a whole different look to it and it has the bunny ears the other ones did not so when i saw this i was like oh, 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 oh a cute new little burlap bag girl yes <sighs> i know and I found some wish list items. So we're getting there. We're getting there. I found these Star Wars socks. Um, baby with the baby. Baby Yoda. And then right here. So two pairs. Yeah. And they're $1.25. They are Disney from StarWars.com, honey. Great for stocking stuffers. Put it away. Put it in your tub. I have a, I actually have like a plastic container that I keep in my closet of stuff that I want to give, you know, for, for Christmas. And I just throw it in a tub, put the lid on it. And, you know, it just stays put until I need it. Um, but I'm sure my boys are going to be wearing these before that for socks. This is going to be for the twins. I only got one book and then we're going to head into beauty. So I got one book. And if you guys didn't see yesterday, I released my empties and I did a bunch of reviews on some of my empties. Check that out. This is Babette Dijon. So this is called Magnolia Bay Memories. And I decided to pick this one up. Magnolia Bay Memories. And what it says in the back, if you're interested, it says Heather Gabriel already had the love of a lifetime. Now a widowed mother struggling with grief. The stay-at-home mom's biggest priority is keeping her children's lives as stable as possible. So when her new job at Magnolia Bay Animal Shelter brings Heather and business consultant Adrian Crawford together to work on a special project, Heather doesn't know how to feel about the attraction building between them. Adrian feels the attraction too, but ever since he lost everything to Hurricane Katrina, Adrian learned not to form too many attachments. Even so, seeing the love Heather has for her kids and the animals, it makes Adrian wonder if the bachelor lifestyle is really what he wants. With the animals on the farm to guide them, Heather and Adrian soon realize they can only have a future together if they are willing to heal from the past. So I thought that might be a good read. <laughs> that sounded like a good read, right? Yeah. I was like, ooh. That one sounds good. All right, now heading into beauty. Here we go. I found the 100% acetone. These don't come in there all the time. And I had to buy the regular the regular nail polish. I like 100% acetone. You can get it for $1.25 there at the Dollar Tree. I got two of them. I like to get my nails done quick, 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 quick. And this also, a little tip. If you guys have, um, how do you say this? Uh, like on our boat, if you, we have, you know, like vinyl seating and it can get moldy from, you know, just from the wetness and what have you and being in an elements 24 days, 24 hours a day, every single day of the year. And then normally you got to try to scrub it. And sometimes it won't come off, especially if it's an old boat, because our boat is old. We have an older boat. Um, you can use a hundred percent acetone, 
put it on a cloth, on a white cotton cloth, and it'll come off. But it's like a one-time deal because you, it will thin out the fabric. And so when you do it, it's going to be like a one-time deal. You don't want to keep doing it. It'll thin it down. It'll thin it out, um, especially if it's an older boat. So just heads up. So if you have any kind of fabrics outside and what have you, they're kind of like that vinyl or what have you. They've seen better days. You're about to throw it away. Try acetone and it should clean it right up. Yeah, we learned that little tip from a expert that does nothing but uh, redos for boats. That's all they do. And they gave us that tip because they saw us struggling with our seats. They were like, this is what you need to do. I know. Okay, so that was just a little tip. All right, let's get into global beauty. Now, I saw fresh and fruity pineapple and like like there you read it you read that that acid yeah i can't say it um this is like exfoliating facial polish with vitamins a c and e smooth and minimize fine lines used twice a week so um they had this they had the strawberry facial cream too i didn't i don't really need a facial cream i don't um but i like a good scrub let me see if i can open this up Oh my goodness, this is like, this sucker is closed up tight. Okay, it has a sticker on it. You couldn't even see the sticker on the packaging. <laughs> I was like, wow. Okay, let's pop her open. So she looks like this. It's small. It's definitely small. has this great hot pink, almost fluorescent top to it. Oh wow, that smells just like pineapple. And look. That's going to be a good scrub. Look at that. Oh, man. Woo, that smells good. Okay, that's going to be a nice scrub. Oh, boy. I like that. Global Beauty, be on the lookout. That's available right now. They also have the strawberry facial cream, if you into that. Right next to it, all of us was together. They have the Kiwi and Konjac Acid Renewing Facial Cleanser. And this has vitamins A, C, and E. Brightens an even skin tone. So I picked that one up. I don't know if that has like a little sealant. It does. It does have a seal. It comes with a seal. It smells like Kiwi. It smells like Kiwi. Wow. Just like Kiwi. And it has that nice bright pink top. There you go. So I'm going to enjoy trying that out. Um, Global Beauty. I just found this. This is brand new to me. Fresh and fruity coconut sugar and lactic acid. Moisturizing cleansing wipes. 25 wipes. Smooth and refined. Vitamin A, C, and E. So that's a new one. I just shared three other wipes that are beautiful. Um, that I've been using and they're wonderful and I've already reviewed one of the Global Beauty face masks that I just purchased and I used. Go check out my empties video from yesterday and you'll see it. So I got that one. This is coconut sugar. Coconut, but not a really strong coconut, but still coconut. Yeah, there you go. You get You definitely smell coconut, but not a strong one. Now, I finally was able to find a bubble tea lip gloss and chocolate latte. Funny thing is, when I picked this up, I was like, girl, do you really need this? <laughs> I just placed an order. Okay. I shine bright like a diamond on Ulta. Yeah, I dropped some money in Ulta. So I just placed an order this month. This, this Just placed an order this money. I just placed an order this morning. And they had the um, Juvia's Place lip glosses, lipsticks, lip liners on sale. It's part of their Daily Beauty Today deal. So I picked up like maybe five along with some other things. And um, I was like, yeah, I still want this. <laughs> I still want it. I still want it. So I got this color chocolate latte. Let's check it out. 
because all the colors that I got from the Juvia's Place from Alta are like browns, nudies. Yeah, that's what I've been leaning towards right now are browns and nudie colors. All right. Hmm. It smells like, um, it kind of smells like chocolate to me. Am I crazy? Or does it smell like chocolate? Okay, that's what it looks like right there. It does have a little bit of color. It does. I could see it better here, but it does have like a little shimmer. I would put it on, but I already have my um, my lipstick and my fetish lip lip oil on top. So that's going to work. That's going to work for what I like what I like to do with, on top of my lipstick. So it's going to be great. Love it. It kind of smells like, like chocolate or yeah, chocolate latte it smells like chocolate. Okay. That makes sense. Cause I'm, <laughs> I know it's one of those days I'm trying to tell you. Okay. Clean beauty. Be pure. They got rose and we got Sandy. This is a lip jelly. I never bought their lip jellies. So I got both colors. All right, right there. So let's test out Sandy. Let's see what she's like first. Sandy, can't you see? Remembers that one from Greece. I, I, All right, so what is this? Okay, so it looks like this. Huh. Okay. All right. It smells like chocolate. Why does everything smell like chocolate? It smells like chocolate to me. Okay, so this is Sandy. Let me make sure I got a good amount here so you guys can see what it's actually going to look like. See if you want to spend your money or not. That's Sandy right there. That's pretty. It's actually pretty. There you go. You got truer sense right there. Why is my thumb up? Like, <laughs> yeah, there you go. Sandy by Be Pure. And it smells like chocolate. At least to me, it smells like chocolate. It does. Now we're going to try Rose. Let's pull out Rose. Okay. I threw out some lipsticks just to be fair. Some lippies I just wasn't using. And I was like, ah, they're just taking up space. So that's why I went on ahead and got some of the Juvia's Place ones. Now, see, this one smells different. This one smells different. I don't know if I like the smell. I don't know what that smell is. I don't know what that smell is. It's not like anything is like, ooh, something wrong with it, but it has a smell. I don't know what it's trying to be. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I want to mess with this with that smell. I don't know. Like I said, it's not like a bad smell. Okay, there you go. That's that one, Rose. Rose. Rose color. I don't know what it's trying to be. I don't get that scent. The other one smelled like chocolate. I don't know what that scent is. It's weird. Okay. It's weird to me because I don't know what it is. But it's not a chemical scent. It doesn't smell like it's old. It's trying to be something and I don't know what it's trying to be. But they're both real cute. They're both cute. In this one, it'll, it'll be nice on top of some other colors. So it'll work out nicely. And yeah, I like them. So there you go. That's everything for this haul. Thank you so much for coming by. I know I was kind of like all over the place. It's just one of those days, girl. Spring break, kids are home. And yeah, you know what that's like, okay? <sighs> Thank you for coming by and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.